at the World Nomad Games in Kyrgyzstan, and if you haven't seen our other videos, it's basically the Olympics for nomadic sports, and it's crazy, and we're here covering it as press, which is why we have these cool badges and these cool vests, and we can do whatever we want. We have come back out into the mountains, into the cultural village, because today is the finals of the horseback archery, so we want to catch that. And in fear of like all these videos kind of starting to look the same, there's a couple days left here at the World Nomad Games, and I think what we're going to do is just put all of the highlights into this video, so it should be jam-packed with a lot of cool stuff. Man, so in a few minutes we will start. Please get ready. All Thank the competitors you. are just warming up right now. And so are we. Hey, after a very long time of warming up, the competition is finally getting underway. The riders have to ride 120 meters in 16 seconds and shoot at three different targets. One's ahead of them, one's behind them, and one is to the side. And if they don't make it in 16 seconds, none of the points count. All of the press have set up uh, here which shouldn't be a problem unless the horse uh, slightly veers off the track or an arrow goes astray. Hopefully we'll all live through this. Just like everything else that we've seen this week, that was super impressive. Having tried to ride a horse myself and knowing how hard it is just to gallop on a horse, I can't imagine doing it with no hands, trying to load a traditional bow and shoot and aim at a target. <laughs> that yak is making some funny noises. They were like straight up Katniss Evergreen, like so cool. And that was the last event here at the Cultural Village. Everybody's starting to clean up their little yurts, and it's kind of sad. So we're gonna go get on the bus and go back to the Hippodrome and try to catch the semifinals for Cockburn Road. Heading to the Hippodrome. Made it back to the Hippodrome, and first things first, ice cream. We mixed the Snickers in there, just what I needed. Number one, ice cream. Eaters. Oh, say can you see? Okay, we have about an hour until the semifinals of Kotburu start, so we're gonna head into the gymnasium and see what's happening in there. I'm gonna assume it's wrestling because there's 13 different types of wrestling taking place here at the games, and all we've seen so far is sumo. Should be interesting. Which I don't think is a nomadic game. <laughs> Azerbaijan freestyle wrestling. I watched at least 10 matches and I'm still not exactly sure how you win. I think it was some combination of either points or pinning your opponent on their back for a certain amount of seconds. But the Cock Brewer game is about to start. The home team is playing and I have a feeling that the atmosphere is going to be absolutely incredible. I love all the hats.
Your horse? Yours? I thought we were gonna watch a really competitive cock brewer game, but it turns out Kyrgyzstan is completely dominant. I think they've scored at least three times as many points as Moscow. And you can see why they're so good on horseback when you see these little kids riding around on these horses like it's nothing. That kid's probably like six years old. Maybe. And he was just controlling this huge animal, making it go wherever he wanted it to. He was adorable. It is officially the last day of the World Nomad Games, which means it's the finals and all the games are going to be super intense. So yesterday afternoon we watched the semi-finals of Kakburu. Super excited to watch the finals today between Kyrgyzstan and Uzbekistan, but first we have a few other events to check out. The first event of today is trick riding, which is basically people on horses doing crazy watching a show and then you're quickly reminded how truly dangerous this is. We just watched two guys fall off of their horse going full speed like right on their head. They both popped back up like nothing happened. Incredible. <laughs> the takedowns in Uzbekistan wrestling are crazy. Apparently Kyrgyzstan is really good at horse wrestling. It was Kyrgyzstan and Kazakhstan in the finals of every single weight group and Kyrgyzstan managed to win every single one. The crowd is going <laughs> wild. Incredible to just see this like crazy stuff that doesn't exist in the western world. Kyrgyzstan! Kyr it's kind of hard to tell which one they're saying. but the American got honorary fourth place in horse wrestling. He is also part of the Kakburu team and he is a trained MMA fighter. What a cool guy. The moment is finally here. This is what the crowd has been anticipating all week. This is the final match of Kakburu. We have the home team of Kyrgyzstan versus the underdog Uzbekistan and the game is about to get underway. I'm really not a huge sports fan, but I am so <laughs> excited about this match. You just like can't help but get into the atmosphere. The stands are more packed than they have been all week.
It's only been about two minutes. They make it look so easy. <laughs> I so love that he stopped up. and looked around. Go ahead and take it back to the middle form. It's the end of the first quarter. I don't even know what the score is, but we thought we'd come have a seat in the section and <laughs> enjoy the rest of the game. It's a lot to a little. <laughs> actually, actually, it's a lot to nothing. <laughs> So it's almost 11 o'clock. We're both trying to sleep right now, but this is happening outside of our door. They look like they're having so much fun. It's really hard to be mad. No, Ready? I'm mad. Just makes me. Achoo! <laughs> oh, you still got it. Ooh. How'd that happen? <gasps> Ice cream? <laughs> Maybe. Drone, drone, I'm so sad. Okay. Drone, Michelle. Very long time of warming up the competition. Well, then, Finally. Uh, okay. <laughs>